In this video, we will learn how you can automatically extract an email attachment and send it on Slack channel. So let's say you run a business and you want every time you receive a business document or an official file on Gmail, it should be sent as an attachment on Slack to your teammates or your clients. So we are going to automate this entire process using Pabli Connect. Come to my screen to see how we do this. To automatically send an email attachment on Slack channel, let us first go to Pabli's website. You can see the landing page of Pabli. On the top right, you can see two options, sign in and sign up free. Well, if you sign up free, you will get free tasks every month. So do not forget to sign up. Since we already have an account, we will just sign in, Pabli Connect. On the top right, you will see a create workflow button. It will ask you to name. We will simply write Gmail to Slack. Okay, now you will see two windows here, trigger and action. So trigger is basically when this happens, action says do this. So our entire automation process would be based on these two steps, trigger and action. So let us understand this with the help of an example. A trigger can be when a sales is made, an action can be send a confirmation message to the owner. In our case, a trigger can be when you receive an email with an attachment, an action can be send the attachment on Slack channel. So let us begin. And for our trigger application, we will select email parser. So email parser by Pabli is an application that helps you to extract files and other information from an email. So now it, you will see it has generated an email address here. Let us copy this and go to your mailbox where we will paste it. So to establish an integration between, e, uh, between Pabli and your Gmail. All right, this is my inbox. Come straight, come to the top right corner. You will see settings. Go to see all settings. Now in the center, you will see forwarding and POP IMAP. Click there. Add a forwarding address and then paste the email address that we copied from Pabli. Next. Proceed. Okay, so it says a confirmation code has been sent to this address to verify permission. All right. Let us go to Pabli and you will see it has received a response. Scroll down and in the body text, you will see it is requested to requested to automatically forward mail to your email address to this and the confirmation code is here. So just copy this, come back and paste it here, verify. All right, now click on forward a copy of incoming mail to this address and keep Gmail's copy in the inbox. So what will happen is whatever emails you will receive here in, in this inbox, these will be forwarded to, forwarded to this address, this email address, so that Pabli can access it. And don't you worry, your information will be 100% safe with Pabli. All right, at the same time, a mail's copy would also be maintained in your inbox. Okay, so let us just save changes. It's done. Now let us go to Pabli Connect and just click on Recapture Email Parser Response. Do you wish to recapture? Yes. So you will see it's waiting for Email Parser Response. Now what we have to do is to see if we have connected Pabli with Gmail with our inbox. We will quickly do a test submission. So let me go to some other account. This is some other account. So you can see this, I have composed an email, a dummy email. I'll be sending from a different account, attached this travel brochure, and I want to send it to this email account. This is the exact same email account with which we have established a connection with Pabli. So now let us just send it and it's sent. Okay, so let us go to Pabli Connect and you will see it's still waiting for email parcel response. Okay, so Pabli has successfully received this response. You will, you will see the subject header subject is travel brochure. It was sent to this email address, sent from this Ashi Rai. 
and if you will see here the last attachment link it is also generated the link for the attachment that is for the travel travel brochure here is the body text hi attaching a travel brochure please take a look regards and the sender's name here okay so this means we have successfully connected pabbly connect with gmail now on to our next step okay before we go to the next step let me quickly tell you one thing so what happened when we established a connection between these two between pabbly and gmail is so now whatever mail we have received on this account you will see we received a travel brochure or whatever next mails we receive these will be automatically forwarded to pabbly like this all right now time for our action step so let us select slack as our action application for action event i would simply select send channel message connect the two add new connection okay use here you have to type the token as either user or bot let's write user and since i will already logged into my slack account i will not have to give my credentials again now you can select the channel where you have to send the message i will simply select general i'll show you here on the left hand side you can see these channels i want to send the message send the forward the attachment email attachment to this particular channel general so i've selected this now comes the message so message i wish to take from email itself from gmail itself so i'll take it from here email parser so let me search using okay body text so that is hi attaching a travel brochure please take a look regards xyz okay i can take this message but the problem here is the sender's name is coming xyz and i don't want this to go so what we will do is we'll remove it from here scroll up add a step in between a very short step we will till select text for matter action event would be split text connect the two text to split now again we will take it from email parser so let me search like this okay so what i want is i want to separate these two after and before full stop since i don't want this so i will use full stop as a separator now for the segment index you can take first or last if you want parts i i will need both so i will just select all and you will see it has splitted the text from full stop so i attaching a travel brochure please take a look it regards xyz okay so this we will be using in our slack step now on to the final step that is slack let us reconnect why because we added a step in between so select existing connection since we are already logged in okay now message we can simply take from text or matter hi attaching a travel brochure please take a look okay so now for the image url again we are going to map it from email parser scroll down remember this link attachment link uh, pabbly generated for the travel brochure we are going to map it exactly the same image all text if you wish to write you can write i am just going to write tours and travel you can leave it empty as well and we have already mapped in okay so before we proceed further i would just like to tell you that these details that we mapped in remember the link we mapped in from here so you must be thinking where exactly are we getting this information from so let me take you to step 1 where we connected gmail with pabbly and we did a test submission and received all these details in response you can see here the attachment link was generated the body text so pabbly brought exact the same details here and we are and we mapped the same from here so the important part here is the mapping that the fields that we have mapped in like the message here the image url so these will be automate automatically be updated from next time so what will happen is when when you receive the next mail or new mail so these fields message field 
will automatically be mapped in the image url for the new image new attachment will all uh, automatically be mapped in you will not have to type in or write it again so okay we lo looks good to go let me just save and send test request okay it says response received now let us go to our slack channel and see if if something like travel brochure was sent there yes here you can see the message here in general channel hi attaching a travel brochure please take a look remember the alt text that we had given the image tours and travels and this is the file okay this is the image that we had sent so this means we have successfully integrate integrated slack with gmail all using pabbly connect i hope this video was helpful for you for more such videos you can subscribe to our channel on youtube for further queries you can visit forum.pabbly.com and you can also check our pricing details at www.pabbly.com